Yeah, I mean, we talked about things that we would hang our hat on, and one of them was that we weren't going to go away, or we weren't going to go quietly. The frustrating bit in the first half, I, th I thought that we probably gave it away a little too cheaply. You know, missed tackles on first phase, for example. Um, so that was really frustrating. Um, but we rectified that, and the longer we were in the game, and the longer we made the phase count, the better we were. So from that point of view, um, you know, that's my summation of sort of half empty, half full. I think the other thing was, you know, against sides where you're not always going to win every collision, you've got to be very accurate, especially at the breakdown. And in the first half, we weren't as accurate in the breakdown as we needed to be. We improved, which is great, and the team reacted well um, to build pressure. So those two, those two things are really important. And good teams learn quickly. And, um, you know, a lot of these boys haven't played for a long time either, you know, so to not play for such a period of time, what, what, the, the half full bit, without doubt, was our, was our ability to keep fighting, to keep fighting and not go quietly and stay in the fight. Um, and those sort of behaviours are really, really important to us. And, um, you know, we've got a losing bonus point. Would I like two points? Yep. Would I like four? Yep. Would I like five? Absolutely. But... We've, uh, you know, we've 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 scored four tries away from home in South Africa, which is a good thing to do. Obviously, uh, we probably could have edged at critical moments, getting towards a losing bonus point. But you know, small steps, um, and we need to improve again against the Sharks team coming around the corner off a short turnaround. So, yep, no rest for the wicked. Roller Steve's up, recover well, uh, get back to base, assess the damage. Hopefully, it's not too much because we haven't got any other players anyway. Um, so, so from that, that we you know we dust everyone down and then um, get energised again for another really tough contest the following week. Missed tackles off first phase lineouts, for example. Um, you know, we don't find touch. We invite pressure. Getting used to the conditions, which were very. But individually, there were some huge efforts out there. You know, Morgan Morris, Ethan Roots, Will Hickey in back row. Uh, Hugh Sutton was, you know, virtually, a, you know, passed out by the end of it. So, you know, these boys are finding limits, physical limits, and that's part of growing as young players. You know, building that resilience and finding a way when you're, you know, when you can't breathe, can't talk, and you know, that's that's what, at the very top, that's what it takes. Yeah, I think it's a reward for effort, right? If you care on really working hard and get no reward, if you did a job that you work really hard and you got no reward, then you know you're going to be despondent. Um, so yeah, we'll champion the things that we did well, and part of that, from an outcome point, you was getting a point and scoring four tries. We can't be happy the amount of tries we've conceded, but of course that's that's part and parcel of it. And there's a very good team on the other side, but the ones we can control, we need to be better at for sure. But you need to celebrate your wins, right? You, and you also need to celebrate your, your your small wins, and you have to celebrate the performance. Sorry, the behaviours that have got you there. So that's that's the way that you maintain it. And the great thing about young players is they're resilient. You know, they're resilient. They haven't had to worry about mortgages and wives and things like that. They just dust themselves out, recover quicker, and look at get ready to go. And this trip's been great for bringing those youngsters on, which is from a cultural point of view really important to us.